Hey guys, welcome back to Night in the Woods. So, gonna go see Greg and uh, do the mission there with him. I've never uh, seen the Humane, Humane Society, is that what it is? And that's where we're going. I like that you can see my little rat babies around town now, too. Makes me so proud. I done. Right. Pretty sure I saw everything else last time, so we'll just go gray to Greg. Hey, buddy. Sup, kid? How's it snacking, Falcon? Just kicking it. Drink too much chocolate milk, and I was throwing up. Ooh, that's bad. When the light bulb delivery came, I had to sign for it while puking. Jeez, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just flew to close to the sun. The chocolate milky sun. So what's up? Ooh. I want to smash some more light bulbs. So pure and good. Okay. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this this time. Hey. Can I actually. Hmm. I wonder if I can actually hit the, bo the things that he throws at me. Yes, I can. I hit it better though. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, that was exciting. Okay. Did you want to check out the Historical Society? Rock on, dude. Yes, the Historical Society, not the Humane Society. They're, aren't they kind of the same thing? I don't know. Sorry we crashed. It's okay. I'm getting used to it. Is your bike okay? Yeah, I can fix it. I'm handy. Too bad you didn't get run over. It's too bad you didn't crash into a train. Too bad your corpse didn't get eaten by scavengers. It's too bad you didn't get eaten by scavengers alive. <laughs> so that's it, huh? Yep. Never been out here before. Me either. Oh, uh, I thought you had a plan. Who needs a plan? We're just breaking into an old house crimes. Yep. Looks kinda, uh, exactly like a haunted house. Yeah. Um, like the one in that old movie. Figure in the Hall. Uh, that title. Yeah, I know. Big old house. This place looks exactly like it. Well, you're looking for a ghost, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, whoever this is, maybe we'll, we'll get some info here. It's not like a person, dude. It's a ghost. Uh, right, well. Let's go find us a ghost. <coughs> well, this is spooky. Greg? Hey, where are you? Over here! Can't jump. There he is. Oh yeah. Found the basement doors. What? Stop yelling. Why are you talking like that? If you say it instead of if, it's harder. 
for someone, for example, a goof, to hear that you're speaking. I have no idea what you're saying here. Okay, we're trying to be stealthy, right? Oh, I get what you're saying. Thank you. I'm not going to do that. Okay. We're fine. Nobody's here. No lights on. Doors are locked. So how are we doing this? You're going to hold the flashlight while I pick this lock. You can pick locks. I totally forgot. Yeah, dude. That is kind of awesome. Sure is. Crimes, dude. Crimes, dude. <laughs> you want to shine that light down here? Cool, thanks. Oh my god, what was that? Nothing. Uh-huh. Hey, more light, please. Okay, there's something up there. Told you. Alright, let's finish this. Also wash my back. Basically do both. It's kind of intense. Hey, you up there. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was an owl? Friggin' owl. Are you okay? I think so. That was dangerous. I didn't know owls attacked like that. What was his effing deal? So we're in the basement. What are we actually looking for, by the way? The thing I read said that sometimes when someone stays late, they hear weird things in something called the map room and in some off-limits area. Technically all of this is an off-limits area right now. True dude, true. Dude, is that like two elevators? And not like old ones. Locked too. Jeez, maybe this place is all elevators. Weird. Why would you have two? One for the ghost, one for the normies. Private rooftop ghost parties. With a ghost pool. I hope you get squashed by the elevator. I hope your head gets stuck in the door. And gets chopped off. I hope you fall down the elevator shaft. I hope you get trapped in a dark elevator. Filled with water. And an angry shark. Holy crap, dude. That's... Ugh. Okay. Here we go. Looks pretty empty. And dark. Hey, where's the flashlight? Crap. I left it outside. Dude. You're being attacked by an owl! Alright, well. I can see, okay. Me too. Let's look around. Yeah, cats have night vision, so seeing in the spooky darkness is easy. Close for insurance purposes. Caution. Stairs not for climbing. These stairs are original to the house and are not functional at this time. What the hell are non-functioning stairs? So are we just supposed to, like, levitate? Huh. Oh, check it out. Elevator number three. Looks like it's not locked either. Elevators for miles, dude. Yeah, this is weird. Alright, so. Ooh, that's bright. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Why do I have to go first? It's your ghost. 
Okay, fine. It's not even real. What? Dude. What the hell was that? I don't know. Someone here? No! Lights off, doors locked, no cars inside. Okay, so... Do you want to go back? Do you have your knife? Yeah. Okay. Wait, is the assumption that I'm gonna stab someone? Is that the plan now? No, I mean, just in case. I mean... The basement door locked behind us. Oh, right, crap. Gonna have to find another way out, too. Hold on, let me add that to the list. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out. This is complicated. Crimes. Crimes. Holy crap, is that elevator number four? How? Why? Granddad would be complaining about local tax dollars right now. Uh, that is not cool. Maybe it's like, someone left a phone here and that's, uh, probably that. Probably. Probably. Crimes. Crimes. Okay. I'm gonna check this out first. Hmm. Oh, hey! Possum Massacre. Oh, nice. Remember this, right? Uh, sorta? Really cool, though. Just like, the whole strike thing. And how other people joined them. And even when the boss sent in soldiers, they were all united. And like, could not give one shit. Yeah, it's the best history, dude. Still makes me, like, proud and angry. Bosses are bad, dude. Bosses are bad. Weird how, like, we're supposed to look up to, like, bosses. Just in general. Like, even bad ones. Yeah, I refuse. Extremely ditto. Okay, well, nothing weird on here. Educational, even. I feel like we're getting smarter. My brain is too huge as it is, dude. Gonna pop. If that happens, I'm leaving your headless corpse here. <laughs> They'll be so freaked out in the morning. Nice. Oh, Ronald, I'm going to open this room for the day. Ah! I say, this chap's brains appear to have burst. Bring them up, won't you, Ronald? Alright, up we go. I can go down? Where does the down go? Because the other elevator on the other side goes to the... Oh, hey! Okay, that's kind of neat. Huh, it's an office. This is boring. Anything interesting here? Office supplies. There's a calendar. Looks like covered bridges. The one over there's got famous disasters. That's a cool person's desk. The other person is boring. I wonder if they're friends. I mean, you can work with someone and not be friends. Hmm, yeah. Maybe this room isn't so boring after all. No, it definitely is. All right. No secrets. Back up we go. <sighs> Going up. Ah, oh, jeez. You're kidding me. Elevator number five. Hmm. Locked. I think this is as high as we're going to get without picking some locks, so... Ah, crap. 
You're kidding me. Drop the lockpick stuff out back. You're kidding me. I was being attacked by an owl. Okay. Sorry. Can you, like, improvise? Uh, need some pliers. And... You got a paperclip? Uh, no. Who's walking around Earth today is carrying a paperclip? Nobody? Okay, so, like... I got this straight right now. Shoot. Map room, forbidden zone, find a way out, find pliers, find a paperclip. I think that's it. This is so stupid. This is like work. This is all work. Did you hear that? Yeah. Didn't sound like a person. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Okay, well, let's hurry. Actually, know where we can uh, probably find a paperclip? Down in an office. I don't know about pliers, but. Going down. Offices have paperclips. Other people go on weird ghost hunting adventures, and they're looking for, like, cool shit. Okay, well. Yeah, let's find a paperclip. Big ass stapler. Donut wolf receipt. Ride that chariot, Nancy. Picture of a dang hound dog. Picture of some dang kids. One of those little hula girls. Found one! Well, I guess that's the easy part, I guess. Yeah, pliers are going to be more tricky to find. Hmm. Well, let's head back up. Oh, man, I want to see what else is here. Okay, well, I got the paper clip. Alright, into this mysterious room of mysteries. That's ominous. Oh, hey, it's my neighborhood. And the highway. Hmm. No hand panther, though. Must be old. Oh, wait. We're in the map room. Well, let's be extra careful. Okay. Grimes. Grimes. There's the graveyard. And the building we're in right now. Spooky. Like we're being watched. Hey, it's my neighborhood. Wow, there's a tiny U in there, I bet. Whoa, that's... Sorry, that, like, made me dizzy. I'm dangerous. Good old town sentry. Town sentry, the center of our town. Quite. Anything in the darkness first? Dark, ominous, spooky? Ah, uh, I think that's the old food donkey. And the woods your ghost ran into? Yep. Sure gets around for a dead guy. That he does. Oh, that's kind of cool. Creepy noise again. In this room. <laughs> ah, it's alive! <laughs> Jeez, that thing's ugly. Well, this was the source of that noise, I guess. Mystery solved. Wait. No. If it was making that noise, that means that someone was in here. While we were walking around. Ooh, shit. Yeah, let's maybe go. No, we have to find stuff. Oh, stuff? Dude, we're gonna get tasered or something. By a big, bulking, uh, historical society employee. 
Whatever. I'm blaming you if this goes bad. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry, dude. Me too. I'd never turn you in. Me either. Crimes. Crimes. Hey, check it out. Toolbox. Repair guy must have left it for the night. For the night, halfway through fixing him. And hey, some flyers. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I was thinking we'd never find them and just like starve in here. There'd be people in here in the morning. All right. All right. So we got the stuff. Let's get that elevator open and see what's upstairs. I guess it's like twelve more elevators. Can we open the other elevators that were down, though? I'm kind of curious. I'm going to go all the way down. <laughs> Unlock some elevators. Like a weirdo. Or it won't work at all. That could also be a possibility. You would think they just have one elevator to get to all the floors, because that'd make the most amount of sense. Aw, oh, I can't go in. Okay, fine. Oh, basement door locks. Okay. Right. That makes sense. Alright, to the locked elevator upstairs. Wasting time. Here we go. To do. Okay. Here we go. All right, ready to go? Yeah, for sure. Gonna get to work. I'm gonna like break out of county jail someday with these skills, dude. Where are you going to jail for? Probably, honestly, something like this. Uh, dude? You need to hurry. What? Someone's coming. They're in the hallway downstairs. Okay, crap. I've, I'll have it done. Oh god. A uh, dude? The elevator. Shit. Shit! Hurry! There, I got it. Go! Alright, that leads all the way back down here. Cool. Holy shit, are we in the basement? Uh, okay. Oh, hey! That's where that elevator goes? This elevator. Yeah, so... Doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe, like, this elevator is for loading things for the map room? And, like, they use the other one to avoid the stairs? But even then... Dude, none of this makes sense. It doesn't look like whatever that is is following us down here. Whatever, not whoever. Whoever. Are you coming around on this ghost thing? Ghosts don't use the elevators. Why? So a ghost can walk upstairs or something? But elevators are out of the question? So the question I have is, where does that one go? We're gonna find out, ain't we? Okay, crimes? Crimes. Okay, just gotta pick this. In the dark. Jeez, sorry. That's cool, I... Shit. Gonna keep picking. Let's see if we can get out through the back. Let's see if we can get out through the back. Stuck. We are so screwed. I'm working, I'm working. Lock, something lock, someone. We can go back upstairs? Actually, no, we're just gonna get chased around in a circle by whatever it is. Whoever it is. Dude. And got it. I don't know where this is gonna go. Got any better ideas? Dude, clearly I don't. This is stressful. Wee. Oh. 
They have an elevator that goes from the basement to the attic with no stops in between. What the actual crap? Okay, let's find a way out. Found a window. I think there's a fire escape. Window doesn't open though. Oh my god. What is this place? Forbidden zone. Are they starting like a weird art museum? This is bad art. This is weird. It's art, dude. What the? No, this is familiar. How do I know this? Shit, dude. The elevator. Why do I know this painting? Dude, come on! The elevator's coming back up! Hurry! Hi, ghost. Greg! Where'd you go? The steps just ended. You gotta jump. Ow. You believe me now? I believe you almost got caught by a security guard or something. No, I'm telling you, I can, like, feel it. Okay, fine. Ghost. Ghost security guard. Sorry about all this. You crashed your bike, got mauled by an owl, broke through a window, and jumped off a fire escape. Nah, dude, wasn't nothing. You are a really good friend, Greg. Psst. Crimes. Crimes. Bad art, no clues, chased by ghost. Greg rules, okay? Ella birds. Hi, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be. But that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you and your mom went on an adventure today? <laughs> yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. Maybe you should, you know, be home for dinner sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. the stairs. There we go. So that was exciting. Hope I didn't miss out on any secrets. Okay, nothing by Angus today. Hey, hey, hey! Yo, yo, yo! How are your shins? Oh, they're fine. I jump off second story fire escapes all the time. No, actually, they hurt like balls. So anyway, did you find what you're looking for? Dude, we found lots of stuff. That map thing, the scary robot, the weird bad art in the attic, the crazy amount of elevators, and the ghost. The janitor that was working on that historical robot guy? Gregor! Listen, 
I know janitors exist, so that means there's like a zillion percent more chance it was a janitor and not a ghost. I felt it, dude. I'm asking Angus if that can happen. He's not answering. Alright, I'm gonna get some sleep. Thanks for going with me tonight. Crimes, dude. Crimes. Hey, B, you awake? Very much am. Doing bills and eating her grilled cheese. What's up? Went to the Historical Society. Oh, how was it? Uh, we definitely were chased around by a ghost. Really? Hold on, I'm texting Greg to confirm this. Why do you need to confirm it? Don't you trust me? Sorry, I need a second opinion. Greg says it was probably a janitor or something. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to bed. Don't go to sleep angry, you'll have bad dreams. Thanks. Good night, May. It was a ghost, guys. Uh, oh, hey! That's kinda neat. Look, my monkey head, I got my help. That's cool. Bedtime. Yes. I like how they were there. And then my axe is over there, and my tuba. Yay! I got my things. For no reason. Got my stuff, though. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, nightmare! This is a lot spookier. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, is this the one where I talk to God? Is there anything back this way? I like the way that echoes. a lunar eclipse or something. Or a solar eclipse. Whatever eclipse it is. Can't tell because it's so dark. Oh yeah, there he is. Cool. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming. And they are asking if I am God. And I am asking what God is. And they are telling me. And I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. That's where the faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith. And moments ago is the beginning. And I am here then and here now. And there is nothing for God, to, nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? 
there were, like, bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they're climbing into the air. And now they're making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. They are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Okay, giant space fleas. Cool. Ugh! Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air. And closing the sky. Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. And it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So, does this mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about the trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Their existence, meaning nothing. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There's no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. And the end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Well, that's a trip and a half of a dream. Reminds me of some of my weirder ones. Though, I mean, really, weirder ones, I just inherit a house and then zombies come through the skylight, but, you know. Never had, like, existential crisis dreams, I don't think. Well, there was that one. But, uh... Yeah. Anyway. I need to get into my existential crises right now. Echoes. <laughs> OA message. Planets are not to be pitied, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathleen Coughlin, National Astronomy Agency. Hey, dude. Ethel Snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Morning, at the Pix Rex, if you're in town center today. I even know I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Okay, cool. But yeah, I got my little coconut monkey. I got my football helmet. Got my tuba. Got my axe. Anything comes into my room, I'm gonna axe him. <laughs> axe him a question. Oh, there we go. Bird. I kind of get you now. All trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. Yeah, I don't think mom would like having a bird flying around the house. It'd be kind of annoying. Mom! Mommy! Huh. 
Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby, okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry. I get excited about grandbabies. That's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you, too. If it was a boy, you could name him Calvin. Oh, God, Mom. If it was a girl, you could name her Trash Baby. Cordelia. Why don't I just have a baby and hand it to you? Ooh. Okay, bye. I'm leaving. Okay, bye, Mom. Okay. Let's go see if I can go say hi to rabies. can't just go chill with rabies anytime I want to. That's lame. I want to chill with rabies. He's a cool guy. Oh, I don't get a triple jump on here either. I can see Pendleton's house from here. What a ghoul that guy is. He has hated me forever. Just because I put M80 down his roof gutter? I mean, that's just a petty grudge. It's like forever ago. Do you see anything else on top of this one? No? Okay. Did I just miss out on that dialogue because I've never actually landed on top of here? It's kinda neat. on top of this one. Hmm. Okay. Anything down here today? Anybody chilling? No? Okay. Cool. Summers! Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Yeah. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Somers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! They also make me want to have um, hot dogs right now. Chesikov's up there again. 
he like dro ever dropped that telescope? Oh no, he cries his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He's hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Alright, I'm gonna leave it here because it's been like 45 minutes. So, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Get that. Where's the mouse go? There, come on. Come on, mouse. Okay, fine. Do this the old way. Alright, there we go. Bye!